All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Doctor Stone season three, episode thirteen. In the last episode, first episode back of the second core, um, we had a great first episode back. Um, we had the revival of Ryusui and Taiju, um, as well as Kaseki is on the way as well. A really cool episode, honestly. MVPs all around. Um, it's, it's seriously so good. Ryusui doing what he did to well doing what they did for starters for making the oxygen tanks insane obviously took a lot of work to do that um and then ryusi going around going down realizing that they haven't got enough manpower to get kaseki out because he's heavy as hell in his stone form um manages to employ taiju's help crazy shit honestly they're all intelligent as fuck <clears throat> intelligent as fuck and like i mentioned in the last episode they all play their part in this in this story or and, and it's just I, it's what I love about Dr. Stone everybody is important and it, it makes for like such a fun it is like science it's like putting all these elements together to make like a chemical reaction it's just awesome I love it um, but yeah overall I'm very excited for this episode so as always guys if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well and let's go into this episode right now the Medusa's true face okay Oh, we've got him back in the, all together now? Nice. Oh, shit. Yeah, th we might need that. And why is this shape like a poo? It's gonna leave a mark that looks like a poo. <laughs> is he going to get, like, more people's statues? Free diving? This guy, jeez, lungs of steel. <laughs> he definitely can. Nice. Few hundred trips. Taiji's ridiculous. <laughs> All this time they've been together and they still don't know how ridiculous he is. Looking like polar opposites. <laughs> hey, we found it. Let's go. <laughs> okay, splash time. <laughs> oh, nice. It's not there. Good. God, I can't. I just can't imagine. Like, that sound sounds so JoJo. It sounds like a stand sound. <laughs> Yeah, what was it like? I guess Suika, so cute. It wouldn't be heroin because they know the Senku was going to get them out. Exactly. Oh, I love the trust. That's so cool. <laughs> Petrification, if they can like use it whenever they want to, it would be so cool. <laughs> the kelp was plenty. <laughs> oh no. He can rebuild, it's fine. <laughs> Senku's such a little shit. Like how they're using bird feathers for propellers, that's cool. A fidget spinner. <laughs> what? Why? Is it because of the little bearings on it? Yeah, the bearing, okay. But I mean, give everybody fidget spinners, why not? <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah, he did indeed. He's an OP dude. Dude was kind of ridiculous. He was ambidextrous too, I wish. That'd be so cool. <laughs> I love all the ways that they use the car. Sometime in the next 10 billion years. That's smart. Look at Senku's face, like, oh, I don't have to do it. Good luck. <laughs> and the detail. I love that they're given the appreciation to these characters in this episode. Like Taiju and Kaseki. Absolute powerhouses for real. The detail on Kaseki and his, like, 
muscles and wrinkles and stuff. It's always so well done. Who's that? Who the f We've got some rando, yeah? Are we gonna are we gonna revive him soon? Uh two even? Nice. Let's go. At least they're here. At least, at least we've got their pieces. Apart from this rando who's missing an arm. So we've got every everybody we need for the mission now. So we can go ahead and get the thing and worry about reviving everybody later. I fucking love Kaseki. He's such a good character. Hey, fidget spinners, let's go. <laughs> it works! Oh my god. It has to be connected by a cable, but that's fine. Yeah, it's Mark 1. It's fine. God, stabilizing must be a ball leg. Where's Ginro going to see the master? <laughs> of the actual women here, obviously, as, you know, as far as the, the enemy knows, but they pick Ginro. <laughs> he probably won't get assaulted. <laughs> Poor Ginro. Did you hear what we just said? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Did you not just see her destroy that stone statue, bro? What are you talking about? What the fuck is this? Ethel Akate. What the hell is that? What is it? Is it chloroform? Doesn't look like chloroform. What is it? It's just some random drug chemical, I guess. <laughs> Get you waved. Oh god, we're meeting the master. Oh shit. What do you want me for, like? Do they re do they know that Ginro's here? Oh, okay, yeah. What the hell are they doing? Ah! No! Run away! You're not trying to clap your cheeks, bro. You do talk like a boy. Oh, God. Please don't assault Ginro. Oh, I guess he's got the pineapple. He should be fine. Mostly characters in Dr. Stone are built different. But she's just admitting it? Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. It's going down tonight. <laughs> I love she's slicing everybody up. Let's go. She's gonna fuck this big guy up. Come on. You bitch, did you just teleport? Yeah, you slice your own comrades, bro. We need our we need our own powerful warrior to take on this guy. Yeah, you definitely are. God, I've no idea how this is gonna go. He's strong as shit. Ooh, these old man fingers, man. Yeah, definitely pineapple. Nothing else, bro. Yeah, good idea, actually. You need to at least see what the master looks like. He doesn't seem to move. Why is he not moved? He's a stone? Wait, what? Does he look like Soyuz? Oh my god. That motherfucker is dead in there. He's dead, dead. Oh my god, I thought Kaku came. Someone help Ginro. Damn, the warp warps right now. I didn't even take into consideration. So this whole place is run by this creepy long-fingered guy. In place of the master. That's wild. As long as they have a pretty face. Man of culture. 
she gonna say something like Sengu? Please. Oh my god. Strength is strength, strength of mind. Yeah, that's definitely Senku. <laughs> nice. Oh, Jesus. Fucking, this dude is so gross. Long, stringy arms and stringy fingers. Yeah, Ginro. Jesus. Ow. Break my legs. Let someone else deal with it. Come on, bro. She's busy. Oh, no. Please don't say she distracted. <gasps> oh, shit. <gasps> oh, fuck. Bro. Ain't no fucking way they're gonna kill Ginro. Catch him! Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm stressed. Bro, unless he gets petrified. Can he get petrified? That's save him, right? Fuck, unless they don't get him, get to him in time. I, I, I mean, Ginro said that. I, I didn't see the resemblance, really. Well, kind of. Yeah, the eyes, I guess. So wait, Soyuz might be like... If he's like the son of this guy or something, he might actually be... The leader of the island, then. That's so cool, actually, because they've been putting, like, little moments in that make Soyuz seem really important. That's interesting. Oh, bro, ain't no fucking way we're gonna lose Ginro by now. Oh, Bro, please. Like, medicine-wise, there's no way they can save him. I'm right in saying if they were petrified, they could they could save him, right? What is she? Oh, she's saying it. She's trying to get it. Oh, turns a stone. Let's go. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, Jesus, man. It's fucking emotional. Fuck. <laughs> oh, Kaku. <laughs> yeah. That what it looks like? Is this the first time I've seen it? It's like a little never-ending thing. That is not from this time. That looks man-made. Or yeah. Holy shit, man. God damn, this is an emotional ends the episode. Bro, that's a cool ass visual. Oh my god, I love these characters, man. Oh. Wonder if they'd saw that green light from the cave. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. That was <laughs> I'm still getting emotional about it. That was a really good episode, really good end to the episode as well. Shout out Ginro. Oh, it's probably like, because Koko was thinking he was going to say something like, please end me, you know, end my suffering. It's too much. It's, it's too painful. And then in his final, what what he thought would be his final moments, he's like, I need to relay this information. It's important. It's my friends. Oh my God. Good, fucking good job, Ginro. Um, good job, Koko as well, thinking that up. Hopefully they can help him with um, the petrification and revival fluid. Oh my god. Nobody even knows from like the other team yet. Nobody knows this has happened yet, but maybe because of that massive green light. Um maybe they'll find out. Oh my god, I need to get myself together. Um yeah, the Medusa is man-made it looks like. It's science, it looks like metal. It, that that shape that it was definitely is not natural. Um so yeah, that's a very interesting detail as well. Ginro managed to get some helpful information, so did um, Koyako, it's great. She is good right now. Um, hopefully we can get to their bodies. Hopefully they can be revived. It's crazy what we found out, found out about the master and that he potentially is related to Soyuz, maybe a father or something like that, which puts more kind of interest into Soyuz, I guess, or like he's much more of an important character than we thought he was, which is cool. Um, 
But yeah, overall, a very, very good episode, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.